Priest is known as one of the toughest wrestlers ever. Do you have any stories about him? Uh, Harley, I love Harley. Yes, um, me and Harley had some phenomenal matches, especially in Knoxville. We set all-time record in the building for a sports event. Uh, two times, the two biggest events ever in the arena were wrestling. It was me and Harley for a world title. One was in 1977, one was in 1978. Uh, Harley was just, God, he was so good to work with. I really loved to work with him and we do a lot of hours. I've done a lot of hours with Harley. But uh, we worked a Texas death match. I uh, wanted to change it up and I said, we can't just keep having a world title matches. So let's, let's have a Texas death match. So uh, I said, uh, what are we going to do for a finish? We're sitting and talking and what are we going to do for a finish? And he says, uh, he says, I'm going to, he says, I will throw you out onto the table, the announcer's table. And he says, I'll get out there and I'm going to slam you on the table. He said, then I'm going to go up on the top rope. And uh, he, he says, uh, and I'm going to come off with my headbutt. Were you out there on the table? And he said, just roll off, right? And uh, so that was the actual finish. I mean, we did a long damn match, a uh, great match. Both of us bleeding the whole deal. And uh, so he throws me out on the table and he slams me on the table. He goes up on the top and here he comes and I just roll off. And, and he goes head first through that table. Uh, and his legs were sticking out. The table just collapsed like that, and his legs were sticking out, and they were they were kicking like this. But uh, it was the most awesome bump I'd ever seen, and that building just exploded. It was like God. There was no doubt that was the end of the Texas Death Match. I mean, uh, but uh, yeah, Harley was great. Uh, he used to make good money for me. Uh, I'd like to take care of Harley because he was so good. Uh, yeah, I remember. One night he had a two thousand dollar payoff, seventy six. Paid him in cash, hundred dollar bills, and uh, he let, I put his he put his hand out and I started counting them and I got up there about fifteen hundred and he was like, boy, he, you could just tell he was like almost a grin was coming to his face, and uh, when he got to the last bill he says, uh, he says Ron. Uh, he goes, I work for you any time you want me to. He says, call Sam and tell him I want to work Knoxville as much as I can. Uh, had a real good relationship, Harley. Great guy. Really love him. And a fan wanted me to ask you who's tougher, him or Dick Slater? Oh, uh, whoa. That'd be a good one, I'll tell you. Uh, Slater got the best right hand I've ever seen. Slater's got the best punch I've ever seen. I watched him knock out two guys, and uh, uh, and and he Slater had an mo about the way he the modus of operandi, what he liked to do. Uh, he would knock them out, and uh, and he would drag them in and stuff their head in the toilet. He wanted to put their head in the toilet, and he would flush the commode. Uh, after I guess he did that with Sting from what I heard, yeah, right? Yeah, well, I didn't see the Sting, but I watched him do it to two other guys. I don't even want to tell who they were. But uh, he knocked them out, and then he grabbed them by the hair, and he drug them in and put their head in the toilet and flushed the toilet. Uh, I don't know. I t t Dick was a... Dick was a... Dick was a funny, funny guy, and I, a great friend of mine. Uh, worked for me when I had the war in Knoxville. Uh, guys tried to take my yeah, territory. I will ask you about that next, yeah. actually. Yeah, and uh, you know, stayed with me for the entire war. Uh, God, what a hell of a guy.